We used to be limited to chatting with DeepSeek R1 only on a laptop. Now you can have AI powered conversations anywhere, anytime, via Telegram, via voice chat. If you're curious about integrating AI into your daily life, then this video is for you. Before we jump into the workflow, I'm going to show you exactly what you're able to do and how you're able to chat with DeepSeek R1. So we're going to ask it a question now. Can you find me a chicken katsu curry recipe? And you can see my message has now come up and we'll see what it responds with. You can see it's now working through the flow and it's decided because we have submitted a voice chat, it's going to take the root of voice. And you can see now the deep seek planner is actively going out to research our query in the flow. You can see it's actually very simple. All we've got is a stage determining the media type. So whether we submitted a voice chat or a text chat, in this case, we can submit either and it will understand which one to process. It's then transcribed to put into DeepSeek. DeepSeek then goes out and does the research. And we know that DeepSeek is a really proficient planner and researcher. So we can connect that to online as well. And then what it's going to do is send us a response directly on Telegram. So from our phone screen, we're able to have a voice chat directly with the most powerful model for super cheap. It's amazing. So we can see within about a minute or so, so it does take quite long because it's deep seek one it's come back and told us exactly the research query is executed. So research authentic Japanese chicken katsu curry recipes. So you heard my initial query. It was really, really vague. What it's done is actually split that out into a really detailed research query. So it's got key components and decided that it's going to research from certain reputable Japanese cooking sites and then given us even some things around user considerations. So from such a simple query, it's gone out and executed a really detailed research brief and actually come back with a chicken katsu curry recipe that has actually broken down into ingredient level and has all the metrics and tells us exactly how to cook this curry from such a simple research query executed with four seconds in my voice. We've got a really detailed response, literally at the click of a button, so quick. So we're going to jump into the workflow now because this is where the magic happens. So it's a very simple NAN workflow. And how you're going to get this is you're going to go to school.com forward slash scrapes. And this is if you want the exact template, you're going to go to classroom at the top and you're going to go into the template library. And then if you scroll down, you can see under business use cases, we've got AI agent deep seek in your pocket and we've got the template in here. So we're going to download that template and we're going to go back into NNN. And what we're going to do is import from file. We're going to go to recent template and we're going to open that up and it's going to look exactly like the flow below. So now we'll run through node by node how to set this up so you can set it up for yourself. So at first we've got a telegram trigger. So we are just monitoring a particular telegram channel. This is probably the most difficult step of the process. So pay attention to this part. If you haven't set up your telegram trigger before, what we want to do is create a new credential here and you can see it's got an access token and then the base URL is filled out. We're going to click on open docs and it's going to open the NAN documentation, you just scroll down and we're going to start a new chat with Botfather, which is the telegram bot that helps you create new API access tokens for a channel in your telegram. You need to have a telegram account to do this. And what we're going to do is open up our telegram here. And as you can see, you have a clear window here and it's going to give you an option to hit start at the bottom. So we're going to start here and it gives you some clear instructions on how to create a new bot. All you need to do is if you've got this on your desktop or your phone, you're going to hit new bot and then we need to name the bot. And then now we need to choose a username for our bot and it must end in bot. And there we go. We've named it NAN deep seek voice bot. And it said, congratulations on your new bot. You'll find me at, and then gives us a link. We can click that to open up the new channel. And that's where we're going to exchange messages with deep seek below this. It's going to show your API key, keep that and copy and paste that because you're going to need that for the next step. You're going to take that API key that telegram gave you, and you're going to come back and insert it into the credential inside the access token. And then you're going to save that. 
Perfect, it's connected. So now we want to go back to Telegram and open up the chat window. And when you start that initial conversation, you can just hit start and then your bot will be activated and it now should act as a trigger for our Telegram bot. So we're gonna come back to the workflow here and now we've set it up with the Telegram demo account here and I just need to change all the others to the Telegram demo account. Now we're ready to send our first message to DeepSeek. So to test this out, all we need to do is hit test workflow and that's because the flow is not active. Once it's active, you'll just be able to message back and forth, but we want to see the flow of the messages. So we're gonna hit test workflow and now the Telegram trigger is waiting for us to send a message. So we can send by voice or by text. So we're just gonna type in a query here. So we've got, give me some ideas for my next NA10 tutorial with DeepSeek. And we're gonna send that. And now if we go back to the workflow, we'll see that that is triggered and is running. So it's recognized that it's a text input this time, and it's now gone to the DeepSeek planner. The nodes in here effectively determine whether it's voice or text. If we go into the download audio stage, if it receives an audio file, it will essentially get that file ID and download the file so that we can transcribe it with OpenAI. So in our OpenAI node, all we are doing is using the operation transcriber recording and passing in an audio resource, which is a binary file passed from our download audio stage. If it's text, we are just setting the message from the text. So you see, this is the message we put in. Give me some ideas for my next NAN automation. And actually it just passes through as text. And that means that both of these will have the same output, which is text. The next stage is the DeepSeek Planner. So this is where the magic really happens and we can connect this to any model. If you've upgraded to the latest version of NAN, you'll probably be able to use this open router chat model and this is brand new. If you haven't, then you can still use the OpenAI node and we're gonna go into that OpenAI node now. And all we're gonna do is make sure that we've put in our open router API key and we have the base URL as openrouter.ai slash API slash V1. If we go into the prompt itself, we've given it a fairly straightforward prompt around it being an AI planning assistant. And its task is to take the user input query and actually plan and find relevant research to support a good answer. It analyzes the user query to understand the research goal. It breaks that down into small actionable chunks. And the reason we do that is R1 is really powerful at planning tasks out. So we're effectively utilizing the strengths of the model we're using. We then formulate a clear research query and actually conduct that research. And what we're telling it to return to the user is just a summary of the research query executed, but also the results of that research query. And we've told it to keep it under 4096 characters because that is the character limit of Telegram per message. The inputs we're taking are the JSON.txt. So you can see if we just drag this across here, it's basically taking the input of our user query. And then the second thing that I normally give all my AI models is the date of today. And that's just so if you ask a query that's relevant to the date, it will actually return results relevant to current date. But for this example, we didn't need it. Now we're connecting through Open Router, and we're using this standard DeepSeq R1 model. So in this model here, we just have DeepSeq slash DeepSeq dash R1. But actually, if we wanted to conduct online research, it's a little bit more expensive, but we could just add online to the end of the query and it would then give it permission to actually search online resources and cite information from that. So it can be a really powerful research tool directly in your pocket, which is really, really cool. We have the response output. So we're taking the text output from the DeepSeek planner. And what we are doing is actually returning that to the same chat, replying to the same message that was originally sent. So we can go back to our Telegram and see exactly what it returned now for that query. So what it's returned here is 
an initial research query. So it's broken down exactly the research that it started conducting. So it's got trending NAN use cases in 2025. So actually the date has come in handy here because it's focused on 2025. And it's given some examples of use cases there. New or underutilized NAN nodes. So again, you can see this is actually scarily accurate to how you would probably plan a video. Community requests. So it's even ensured that it covers popular opinion and tried to get information from forums and then advanced features. So that is the research query that it's gone and conducted. And now we'll look at the results that it's returned. Ironically, it's returned as the first result, AI driven automation, high demand for workflows using NAN's DeepSeq LLM node. So exactly what we're using here, an LLM with DeepSeq connected. And then it's returned and then it's returned four other key areas that we could focus on. But you can see from just a couple of seconds typing that in or actually recording it on our phone using our voice, we've actually got a really detailed answer. This has potential, if you connect it up to multiple tools, to be super powerful as your own personal assistant. The fact that you can conduct this research in such a short space of time for such a low cost is absolutely astounding. If you like the content, then please subscribe below and give the video a like. And if you're looking for this exact template, then check out the school community in the description. Thanks.